Wow, we got some hotties in the audience tonight. <sighs> Did someone say thank you? <laughs> She's like, thank you, uh, right here? <laughs> you do, I just moved from South Beach. You kind of look like you got the turquoise thing going on. A lot of beautiful people there. Uh, very popular, the South Beach diet. The original South Beach diet, actually. Cocaine and kamikazes. <laughs> Apparently it's very easy to follow. It's just a snort for breakfast, a snort for lunch, for dinner, a sensible screw. <laughs> Tourists do the diet. People who visit, ask Lindsay Lohan. Oh wait, that was a asthma attack, sorry. Come on! <laughs> but um, I'm originally from New York. Any New Yorkers here? Okay. One homie in the back. <laughs> um, I lived in a really crappy apartment in New York City. Like, I thought I moved into a doorman building, but it was actually just a mildly retarded alcoholic like, homeless man that sat on my front stoop. He'd always greet you. Hey. <laughs> and uh, we used to have to like walk over him when we wanted to leave and come back in. And I was like, okay, well, he is doing his doorman duties. He is deterring people from just running in and out. <laughs> but one day I came home and he was screwing a homeless woman in my foyer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, and it really upset me because she was using my FedEx package as an ass cushion. <laughs> and I had no idea, I was like totally depressed. And I had no idea how depressed I was until I was like watching the movie Anne Frank. And I was like, you know what? She's got a better apartment than I do. <laughs> if not for the storage space alone. That's right. I like to just take it one step too far there. Uh, I went to 12 years of all girl Catholic school. That's right, who wants me now? <laughs> it even sounds like a porno, doesn't it? All girl Catholic school. <laughs> the truth is though, they, it was very repressive. And uh, they sent us mixed messages about sex, like don't have it, <laughs> you know, it's bad. And then they made us wear little schoolgirl skirts that only strippers wear. <laughs> And the thing is, we learn sex education from a nun. I mean, you think it would be a lay teacher. That's why they're called lay teachers. But no, who is more qualified to teach us about the wiles of sex than a celibate lesbian? It was really repressive there, and so many girls were really acting out, mostly by doing drugs. And personally, I know that I gave them a very good price. <laughs> so I, uh, I was, you know, I'm single, I was dating, and in denial really about trying this internet dating, so I tried Craigslist. <laughs> you guys know about Craigslist? <laughs> yeah. Scraping the bottle of the, of the E-barrel right there, you know? It's like, Craig, loser, magnet. <laughs> the personals on Craigslist are a total afterthought. It's like, well, I'm selling my bed. Let me see if I can get laid while I do it. <laughs> I have had my share of cheap men. And cheap men are like cheap clothes. They're slightly irregular don't quite fit right, prone to shrinkage, <laughs> or in need of a major alteration, and sometimes they give you a rash. <laughs> Just one step too far, yes. But that mentality can get you in trouble, ladies. Oh my God. You go for the bargain, man. Like I once went out with an Indian guy because I saw the red dot in his head, and I was like, He's on sale. I have to have him. <laughs> I got talked to into a three-way. Yes, I did. I was like, okay, two for ones. <laughs> the pants are half off. <laughs> cool. 
But then I thought, okay, let me find my soulmate. So let me leave it up to eHarmony. <laughs> Have any of you tried this? No? Oh my God, okay. Hunt, there's a questionnaire, hundreds of questions. There's essay questions. I'm filling it out thinking, okay, this is taking longer than most relationships I've ever been in. But their thing is, if they get to know you intimately, that they will find your soulmate. And it really does work, because they hooked me, up, hooked me up with a chick from New York named Stella. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. So, yeah, um, you would think in a society we, where we're so obsessed with breasts that we would have a cure for breast cancer. Huh. Right? <laughs> uh-huh. Because we got three boner pills. Three. <laughs> yeah. You know what will get a cure for breast cancer? When there's fake breast cancer. <laughs> I recently did a uh, benefit and Fran Drescher was the speaker, and she was talking about, out, about prevention. She's like, with these two fingers, you can feel yourself up. Not only are you protecting yourself from breast cancer, but you're also giving yourself another good reason you don't need men. <laughs> so please, support breast cancer research, because if you know there's cancer, there'd be a cure tomorrow. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. This is a lot of fun. <laughs>